Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Lara at Texas Almas College and today I want to show you how to print multiple sheets in uh, Excel. Now the data that I have here is not my data. Uh, this is data that I am using from uh, Ms. Carol M. Cram's uh, Microsoft Office projects. So I am using a template that she provided. Uh, that way I can show you this example. All right, so when you have an Excel worksheet with multiple pages, in this case, it has one that has sales data. Notice that it uses some conditional formatting that I showed you in another video. And there's another tab that has information about uh, a pivot table and it has a chart. Well, if I go to my to print this information so i'm going to highlight here i go file and i go print notice that when i print here it only shows me down here page one of one and it's only showing me the thing that i was looking at the end so what happened to my other page so if i go back here then well let me look at the sales data Right, I go file, print, and again, I'm gonna hide. Notice that it only shows me one. If I go next, it doesn't show me the one with the charts. Now you could always print this one and then go ahead and print the second one, right? You can do that. But let's see how we can do both at the same time. So it's very simple. You have both tabs. What I'm going to do, let me, magnify here is that I am going to click on the first Excel sheet then and I'm sorry that I can't show you this but before you click the product sales what you're going to do is you're going to press the shift key in your keyboard and then press the product sales once you did that notice that both are now highlighted they both have that green underline at the bottom. Once you have them like this, then you can go to file, print. And now if you look here at the bottom, you have page one of two. So if I click on next, notice that now it changes to the one where my graph where I can go back. Now what else you can do here? Notice that I have the page set up. Well, under my page setup, there's things you can do. You can either say, you know what? I don't want any scaling. So everything, well, there's not much different than this one. Um, everything fit in one page quite nicely. But you can, if something, let's say you have something that goes over to a second page, you can make sure that everything fits nicely in one sheet. What else you can do? You can do right here, page setup. And notice that here we have how you want to print this in page i'm printing landscape right that's fine let's look at this margins margins i have right here how much i want to leave from the top and bottom and left and right but also look right here it's a center on page if i unclick this by default these things are unclicked so by default every time that you look at your documents notice how everything is off to the left because that is how we did our, our worksheet. But if you select those margins horizontally, notice what happened to my data. Everything gets horizontally aligned. It's right in the middle. Let's do this again. Let me undo the horizontal, but I'm gonna do the vertical now. So this one, since it's not the horizontal, so notice that it's now down the top and the bottom is equally in the middle. So if you want it really nice and centered, you just click both of them. And here we go. This is right in the center. And obviously it does the same thing for this one. Okay. If I take those out, let me show you one more time. Everything goes to the way it is on my regular sheet. Notice how everything's on the left, right? Page setup, margins, horizontal, and vertical, and that is perfect. There you go.
Now also notice one thing. When I go to my second page or my first page, right here, it says that the second page is called product sales. And here's the person who did this, right? If I go to my first page here, this is sales data. So you can also change what goes in the header. And we do that like this. You will go to your page setup and you go to header and footer. Now here, there's different things you can do. I'm gonna do custom header for right now. And it shows me what do I want on my left section? On my left section, I want my name. So that means in every single page is gonna put my name. In the center section right now, I want nothing. And on the right section, it's got that. So right there, what it's telling me is that that's gonna show me the name of each sheet. Now I can delete that and I can just put here data. If I put data just by itself, I say, okay. Notice how now my page says data here. And if I go to the next page, it says data as well. So both of them say data, right? But what if I want each one to have its own name? If you look at my worksheet, the first sheet is called sales data and the second one is called product sales. But if I try to do my header, back to print, page setup, header footer, custom foot, uh, well, let's go to the header first, custom header. If I just put right here the, the actual words, it's just gonna put it exactly as it is. So if you notice here, we have some macros that are already created for us that allow us to put stuff. So notice that this one tells me insert the file path. That's where it's saved. This one inserts the name of the file and this one inserts the name of the sheet. So if I put my cursor here and I click on this one, it puts that. It looks kind of weird. It says ampersand tab. But what that means, once I place OK and OK, it means that now my sheet sales data is going to say sales data. And the second sheet says product sales. And that's how you change that information. All right. Well, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Bye.